Good afternoon. My partner, Cesar Santillan, and I are doing an interview to the major Christian Litwin, who is a biologist from Zamorano. The topic we want to learn more about it is bioindicators. Bioindicators are used to detect anomalies from an eco ecosystem. This topic is because we have to make a discovery project in the English class. It's so, a very interesting topic. Sorry. Yeah. It's a very interesting topic. Yes, yeah, very interesting. Okay. Bioindicators have been extensively discussed by the society. What is a bioindicator and what is the function of a bioindicator? Okay. Uh, a bioindicator. We have many bioindicators in the world. Right? Uh, we have in the air, we have in the sea, we have in the, in the uh, mountains, in the trees, in the plants, in the insects. In the insects. Bioindicator is a kind of solution, uh, natural solution, for controlling uh, problems, or fixed problems, uh, like a contamination to goes for the humans. Or uh, the bioindicators go a natural process. Yeah? Mm -hmm. and it's very important uh, to know uh, more about this uh, kind of tool, right? Uh, it's very important. In, and we we got a, in Samarano many bioindicators, uh, mushrooms, and insects, more insects. More. The use of bioindicator is being proposed as a new tool to know quality of the water. Yes. In which other areas can we use bioindicators? Well, uh, it's uh, difficult to find uh, bioindicators if you don't uh, study before, because uh, the bioindicators are very small, very small, and very, uh, very uh, they hide in the ropes, they hide in the uh, Either in the trees, in the roots, yeah. So um, in Samorano we have indicators in the plants or horticulture plant. I'm, I'm not sure how I say uh, horti horticulture, right? Yeah. And we got uh, many specialists in this uh, in this topic. According to some studies, an organism is considered a bioindicator as long as the degree of tolerance is known. Yes. Uh, which are the characteristics that a bioindicator has to have? Okay, uh, which characteristics? Uh, it depends. Uh, for example, in the water, indicator for the water, exists an um, insect. Uh, we know uh, the caballito del diablo. Caballito del diablo is a kind of insect which like uh, the clean water, right? He puts his eggs in the ropes, and the principal characteristic is the exponential kind of reproduction. A uh, bioindicator goes a really, really uh, faster system of reproduction. This is the principal characteristic because a bioindicator is very difficult to understand because we know, we, uh, we need to know all ecology for the thing. For the 
insects or the plants or the tree. Does anyone here in summer know where we buy indicators? Um, in no, yes, yes. Um, Stella Aguilar, uh, she is a microbi microbiology, and she's uh, work uh, when she was a student okay. with the with the kind of um, of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. I'm not sh really sure that she worked with that. Okay. If we, talk, if we talk about economy, the economy point of view, do you think bioindicators is good or bad to the uh, It's good, right? Uh, because uh, we only need the knowledge about it. We don't need a, a kind of structure or uh, make invest a lot of money. Uh, it's a very nice solution for the building and I really think it's uh, a cheap solution. In another hand, many projects are currently being promoted for the uh, environment. Mm -hmm. How can I tie the indicators be Apple and environment care projects? All right. Uh, for example, uh, the last year in uh, I'm not sure in Chile or Argentina, uh, a group a group of science uh, worked with bioindicators, but uh, they worked in the desert, right? In the desert, it's a kind of clean climb. Uh, we don't have many water, and exists a kind of um, lagartica. Right, who's like uh, the the special cactus, and this uh, small uh, reptile uh, like um, the small cells in the cactus who had who who had um, water uh, got for the rain, and if if this animal don't exist in, in many places, we don't know uh, if the plants are contaminate, contaminated or the uh, with salt, with salt, right? Okay. So uh, we need this kind of lagartica in this place or know if the water of the cactus is the right quality. If it doesn't exist, is the cactus uh, don't have right uh, good quality for uh, consume for the humans. Okay, now, if a person performs a field trip and find a lake, okay, what kind of paper can you offer that that water is active for the consumption? Okay, in the lake, in okay. the lake, okay. Uh, in the river, we got the insects, right? In the sea, we got the coral reef mm -hmm. or sponge. And many kind of sponge in the in the sea, we got uh, by indicator. But the lake may be the better indicator. Um, the plants, the water plants, exceeds a kind of water plants whose family's name is Nymphaeaceas. The Nymphaeaceas uh, got an uh, exponential system of reproduction and got, uh, and got problems with the, with the person in the lake, maybe the aquicultors, aquacultors, but uh, this plant, his, his roots filter his roots filter the water, right? His roots filter the water uh, and, and create a microsystem inside the water very fertile for the other kind of fish, right? So uh, 
if we control it, the exponential um, reproduction, this plant, maybe a, we have a um, better, we have the better uh, quality of water, right? But the problem is, uh, if uh, we don't uh, take care of this plant, uh, the system reproduction is very faster and con and and increase, increase over the water okay. and create the problems because the light doesn't uh, penetrate. penetrate in the, in the yes. So we have uh, a, a, a better solution for the drink water, but bad solution for the uh, make photosynthesis or use uh, kind of algas. Uh, considering that. Honduras has one of the largest coral reefs in the world. Yes. How could the indicator help us to preserve this type of environment? Well, to preserve, uh, first thing I think uh, we don't use for the. Uh, we need to stop bad tourism, but bad tourists, because. Um, Every people in the world uh, knows the by Iceland it's a beautiful place for God, for family. But if you uh, try to swim inside the, the water and and touch this coral reef, maybe it's a bad idea because the coral reef uh, got some, a very uh, very small, uh, very small temperature uh, tolerance, and the people, um, several people, use a kind of chemicals in uh, over of body, and if you touch the coral reef, maybe you can contaminate um, his his system. And, well, uh, maybe a prohibit, prohibit, prohibit the, the fishing, the catch fishing, right? Okay. Um, so, on the other hand, from your point of view uh, as teacher, do you think it is necessary for Samaran students to know about bioindicators? Bio Absolutely, absolutely, because uh, the bay indicators uh, control it, the natural form, uh, the problems. And we need to study uh, more about that. We need to uh, discover many things about the bay indicators because uh, we knowledge about that is very small. And the field is very large. You teach in several laboratory classes. What can you do there to encourage Samaran students to get uh, related uh, with bioindicators? Uh, maybe talk uh, with the authorities and make a kind of project with the students. Uh, we need we need to go to the field. Uh, we don't. We don't know. Or we don't uh, got a very important knowledge about bioindicators in the classroom. It's very difficult because in the classroom uh, we can touch the nature. We can uh, know how to function the things in the classroom. Right. We need to go outside. We need to to learn uh, with students and and God made very ex many experiments, many experiments, and maybe we need more projects uh, with the students to to know more about the bioindicators. Okay, you tell us that uh, the bioindicators help to, to help to the environment and. It's 
it's good that the students learn more about this. So, what do you think? Uh, um, what place here in Samarano have uh, more diversity of bi indicators? Okay, in Samarano we got uh, a kind of um, a kind of forest. A, um, uh, dry forest, dry forest. Okay. So, in the dry forest, we got uh, by indicators. Where, where, where? Um, in Samorano, I'm not sure really. Maybe the 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 the, the Uyuk forest. We got in, uh, other kind of in, the indicators. But inside the, the field of Samorano, um, everything, everything. Maybe in the lakes, so uh, oxidation lakes? In the oxidation lake, in the river, uh, beside, yes, it's a nice option. Because um, I'm sure there exists uh, many kind of insects. Um, and one of them may be it's an by indicator, right? For a, I say, we need to study more these, these microorganisms. Mm -hmm. But a special place, um, I, I don't, I really don't know. A special, uh, a special place, but I think that every, every, uh, uh, every place, we got uh, to find a, a by indicator. Okay, and for last question, and, and here in Samarano, we in continue contact with uh, nature. So I want to know if we do a contribution to the environment or we are destroying them. Well, we we need to contribute for the make a better system. We need uh, be nice with the nature. We need to live in contact with the, with the nature and, understa and understand that uh, because if, if normal the humans uh, destroy many systems but uh, the humans know uh, don't, don't know um, con how I say consciente conscience the, the people nor conscience about this topic and the humans really don't know the humans really don't know so uh, I think we need uh, to find uh, the way to the to the live, uh, live with the nature live with the nature and and, and really be nice Okay, so for conclusion, um, the indicators help us to match or detect uh, anomalies in, in the ecosystem. So it is really important that we apply the indicator in different platforms in Samorano and in different places because we use, if, if we use this class of, if, if, if this class of uh, the detectors of problems in uh, ecosystems, we can f detect with time different situations that can, can are happening in the, in a in a cool tip or in a different project that can help to the to the reconstruction of of of, of natur natural places. We are very grateful with the major Christian between because he gave us uh, important inf information to pull our dots with our discovery project in the English class.